Tonight we've got Gerard Butler and Angela Bassett joining us on the show. Movie stars on this set from London has fallen. Where are the guests? Turn your phone off. Why is Dan calling? Oh, who cares? Hey, Dan. Tiffany, where the heck are you? They're not on the set of movie threesome. They're here at the hotel. Where are you? Oh, I thought they were Wait. coming here. Sorry, Gerard wants to talk to you. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Jerry Butler and Angela Bassett, but you just just worry about me right now. How are you, babe? I'm good. It's been so long. By the way, I do believe Dan engineered this whole thing so that he could get us along. I wouldn't worry about it, though, Gerard. You're pretty buff. Like, I think you could take him. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... Yeah, you'll like it. You'll like it. <laughs> I'm sorry you're not here. I don't trust this no, guy. don't you trust him. You really should. No, I, been, I got it. I got it. Be All right. On the set is we a weird start. And welcome to Movie <laughs> Threesome. Did he just... He just hung up on us. Really good clapping. <laughs> Give it up for Gerard Butler's clapping. <laughs> What's the deal with the set? Brian? Well, we couldn't bring in the real set, so I went to Kinko's and I printed what I think is a pretty legit <laughs> backup. Gown I like anymore. the Spartan helmet. You like that? Do you just yeah. like wear a Spartan helmet around the house? Like that's all my... the time. All the time. That's actually a gladiator helmet. I'm yeah. a little pissed it's off you brought it on the show. <laughs> Let's talk about the movie. I really enjoyed this. It's way bigger than the first one. I mean, the first one. The White House is attacked. This time it's a citywide attack on London. Was this a more challenging film than the first one? Yeah, because it was citywide. I mean, it was just a mm -hmm. way bigger canvas. We had to make it in London and then rebuild a lot of London and Bulgaria mm -hmm. and shoot it there as well. And I was first. glad to get out of the conference room. I was gonna <laughs> ask you, you are in the action yeah. this time around. Yes. So you prefer being part of like the car crashes and the helicopter scenes? I go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> He was like the best action star of the lot because it should be like, yeah, yeah. screaming, and we would cut. You get an go, opportunity, yeah. and a chance, yeah. you know. Yeah. You yeah. get that all the time. Oh, wait, so that, we finish first. takes, and you'd be like, no, I'm in it. Let's <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Can you walk me through that helicopter scene? That was the most like gut-wrenching scene of the whole movie where like, I don't want to spoil too much, but like we see it in the trailer where the helicopter's going down. Tell me it actually, this was a stunt. We crashed the helicopter and we had to hit the side of a building. They fired a Stinger missile, yep. which hit the side of the helicopter. And we just had to make sure that we were in the right part of the helicopter. Right, right. The pilot had to, as the helicopter cut in half, yeah. make sure that we hit the side of the building and then landed in a way that we could survive the crash. Well, let me ask you, I have always wanted the Butler abs. Are there any secrets on how to get those abs? 3D printing. It's like That's I'm, it. It's like I'm They're saying. just not real. They're it's just a lot easier printed. than you think. Uh, sadly, yep. it's, a lot of, it's a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. Like when I, when I did 300, mm -hmm. I was training six hours a day before the movie started and then all the way through the movie and you go out on a, on a crazy diet. diet. Great while you're doing it, but then the second you stop the movie, it's right. like yeah. apple pie, ice cream. Yeah. You know, oh, again, the, I think I'm working for Starbucks today, but the, the, <laughs> lemon, the lemon cake, you guys ever tried that yeah. lemon cake yeah. with the icing? Oh, God. You're going to get a million dollars from Starbucks. They better. You both can't help but be extremely badass in this film. You're both like equally badass. Do you have any tips on how I could be a better badass? You look I at me would. like, oh, isn't that adorable? <laughs> like this kid could be a badass. With work, I can get there, Angela. I, I can get say. there. It starts with the attitude. Okay, start yeah, the attitude. Yeah, just the attitude. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's first okay. step. First step. I would say everything that you are right now, yeah. uh -huh. if you change everything, then you're on your way. Okay, okay, right? you guys like have that. a good day. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, you made this set, you know? That's right. No, that I worked true. hard on that. What were you that's guys doing right last there. night? You're out you having ideas coming up with this? Yeah, There's exactly. That's badass. I went to Kinko's badass. by my... I broke Mentally. the speeding limit when there I was driving go. to Kinko's right did there, you? Butler. You could learn from me. You did like You're 32 yeah. miles an hour. Not. That's You're right. Badass. That's badass. You're in the seat. I don't even think he really went to Kinko's. Let's be honest. I did not. I want to move on to a game. The Whisper Game Presidential Edition. You guys are gonna be wearing headphones. Time. You can't hear anything, and I'm gonna whisper some presidents' names. I'm not from here, so I, I, might, have, I might struggle. Hey, that, what's the, I am from here. What if I struggle? Who's <laughs> my then, Okay. Then we'll probably cut this segment. First president, George Washington. George Washington. George yes, Washington. she got that. Angela got the first point. Yeah. Okay. Number two. Next president. You can, you, can no, you see? I'm not, no, no, I can't. can't. No, you she can't see, anything. she can't see. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln! Look at his lips! I, all it's I'm seeing is this. Woman's thing. <laughs> Eisenhower. No, it's John. He said John, John Adams. Yes. John Adams. Yes. Richard Nixon. 
Richard Nixon, mm -hmm. look, you have the mirror. You looking in the mirror? You could be looking in the mirror. You could be looking in the mirror right there. The mirror reflects <laughs> over there. It's Who a, was that? Who was a, that? That was Richard, Richard Nixon. Nixon. Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland. Yeah, she got it. I'm sorry. My favorite Who? uncle was named after him. Who? Uncle Grover, Grover Cleveland. You know, Grover I've Cleveland. I've never even heard of him. Grover C. Cleveland. He was a president. Did I win? Uh, no, not at all. Not, not at all. Angela, you may have just had the first ever Whisper Game sweep where you won every one. So for that, you get a Fandango gift card. I'm going to give you a Fandango gift card. So, guys, give it up for him. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank, thank you for you. losing gracefully. Thank you for being awesome. Guys, give it up from Stars of London Has Fallen. Coming out soon. Thank you. Uh, by the way, did we, I did an interview with Tiffany in Bulgaria, didn't I? That's right, okay. that's right, yeah. Can I see that interview? Can we uh, cut to that? Sure, let's, yeah. uh, let's cut to Thanks, that. Thanks, Dan. Action! We are on the set of London Has Fallen, and where there's action, well, there's visual effects and stunts. A lot of them. Burn! And just from working with Jerry on this one, if you had to pick ahead of your Secret Service, would you pick him? Definitely not. <laughs> I would be in big, big trouble. <laughs> we're in Bulgaria, but we're actually at St. Paul's <laughs> Cathedral in London. Take care of the bad guys and blow some things up. What's it like getting the team back together? I've never done that before. I've actually never done a sequel because so many of my movies bombed. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That is untrue. Um, no, I've, I've actually never done done, it, done a sequel before, so it's really nice to actually be able to say to somebody, not how are you, but hey, how have you been since the yeah. last time? Well, that, that's a very safe shot that we were doing because it was an air mortar filled with soft materials. Mm -hmm. So you can stand right in front of that and there's not a problem. What do we have here? Because this rig looks pretty heavy duty. It is, because it has to support the whole weight of the vehicle when it tips up on end. So this end attaches to a large steel structure that's attached to the road. And in the front of the vehicle, there's an explosive cannon. Well, the one thing that Dan can't steal from us is the weekly wager. That is true. My spirits will be lifted because my win streak continues. You can't beat me. This is my least favorite show we've ever done. Oh, it's so great. Because last week we bet on Eddie the Eagle. I bet nine million. You made the wrong decision of going over and going 9.5. It's Hugh Jackman. The price was wrong for you. And the actual numbers were six, six million, million. Which, which means... means this week's Loser Should comes from YouTube user Ridicule, who says, Loser should call their parents and tell them one thing they did behind their backs. Well, I'm gonna call my dad. All right. Because my dad is a big fan of Movie Threesome. Right. Hey, sweetheart, what's up? Hey, daddy. Uh -huh. I lost the weekly wager again. Shocker. Yeah. So this week, I have to call you to tell you something I did behind your back when I was younger. Remember when my chores were to empty the cat litter box and like take the poop out to the garbage cans in the backyard? Yeah. I remember when you thought something died in the garage because it smelled so bad in the summer? Yeah. Well, I used to throw the cat poop behind the fridge because I was scared to go outside. <laughs> What? You know how many days I walked around that garage trying to figure out what that was smelling up the house? I'm sorry. But I love you. you I know? love you too. Bye, Mr. Smith. London has fallen. It's time to bet on that one. Ready, Tiff? God bless you. That's how I, I am going to go first. And for me, I am going to bet and say 25 million to London has fallen. What is your wrong bet? 26 million. Okay. Jerry? Don't let me down to the box office, buddy. It has Don't nothing, do it. It has nothing to do with him. It has, it has everything to do with the fact that I am perfect. Loser should. What do you do? You hashtag it, you put it in the YouTube comments, and you suggest what the hell she's going to do for the rest of the year because she can't beat me. I'm going to win. No. I'm going to win. Sure. I'm going to win. How many times have you told yourself that this year? All right, so first I just have to say a huge sorry to Gerard Butler and Angela Bassett that we didn't get to interview them. But I guess 
Yeah, sorry guys, you missed out on the A team and you got the B team. Make sure that right now, subscribe right over there and check out past episodes right here. Download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphone. Join us every week here on Movie, Movie Threesome! Threesome! You're such a jerk. Yes, I am.